We've got Kevin O'Leary back with us, O'Leary Ventures Chairman, Shark Tank Investor. You know, Kevin, you had mentioned, and it was a very profound kind of comment, that, you know, some of these other businesses do have right to be concerned, whether they like Donald Trump or not. Maybe you can elaborate on that. Well, this this award, um, I mean, just leaving the whole Trump thing out of it and, and seeing what occurred here, and, and I'm, I'm no different than any other investor. I'm shocked at this. I, I can't even understand or fathom uh, the, the decision at all. It, it, there's no rationale for it. And so let me give you a real-time uh, experience I'm having regarding this, and I'm not the only one. It doesn't matter what the governor says. New York was already a loser state, like California is a loser state. There are many loser states because of policy, high taxes, uncompetitive regulation. It was already on the top of the list of being a loser state. I would never invest in New York now, and I'm not the only person saying that. And here's a real-time situation. In development in real estate right now, the hottest asset class is very high-end data centers. They cost anywhere from two and a half to three and a half billion each. They are very expensive. They require low power. You need permits. But most of the major institutions in the world need more data centers, and that's why developers like me are doing this. Now, you need power. So New York has Niagara Falls. Normally, you'd consider that to put in one of these facilities, create 400 jobs, five more jobs for each of one of those for auxiliary services. I can't go to New York. So I'm going to Oklahoma, North Dakota, West Virginia. Governor Stitt, Kevin Stitt, my staff have met with him. Governor Bergen, the same thing. Governor Justice, those are winner states. They don't do things like this. I have to syndicate that debt and all that equity. We're talking billions of dollars here. Do you think any foreign institution or any private equity firm or any pension fund would touch New York? No. And that's why New Yorkers should be concerned. The fine people of New York should ask themselves, why are we such a loser state? How are we going to attract business? It's not just the existing businesses that are fleeing out to Texas and Florida. What about new money like this that I'm talking about, like a $4 billion data center? Not a chance I would put that in New York. Zero probability. Never. And so they've got a lot of work to do to find themselves getting out of this situation. This has all occurred post-pandemic. Winner states versus loser states. Look at Tennessee right now, fastest growing city in America, Nashville. Winner state, good policy, competitive taxes. You've got to start thinking about this in the context of winners and losers. New York, mega loser state. So, Kevin, what did you think of Governor Hochul saying this is like a unique one and done because Donald Trump went too far and was so nefarious. Uh, you guys, if you're just doing what you should be doing, you have nothing to worry about. But they're very worried about it. Yeah, we're very worried. Every investor is worried because where is the victim? Who lost money? This is some arbitrary decision a judge made. This policy and what this says, what does this say about the bar, the legal bar? In New York, aren't they going to question this judge? What is this? Three hundred and fifty-five million dollars, and there's dollars as a as a penalty, and there's plus interest at nine percent, and there's no victim. I mean, I'm sorry, her her words fall on deaf ears to everybody. There's nothing she can say to justify this decision, and this has nothing to do with Trump. Nothing to do with Trump. Forget about Trump. This is not a Trump situation. This is a New York problem now. The whole world is looking at this saying, what are you doing to yourselves? Well put. Kevin, always good chatting with you. Kevin O'Leary, following all of that.